Howdy folks, this is a nice little piece of kit. It's a FPV camera switcher from Vifly, uh, viflydrone.com. So with this little switcher, you can plug in two FPV cameras uh, and switch between the two using a variety of signals. Uh, you can use SBUS, IBUS, PWM, uh, DSMX. Here's the little instruction manual there. There's the little unit there. It's absolutely tiny. A little piece of heat shrink there and some wires for wiring it up too. So the idea is you wire in the two cameras on that side there. You wire in the uh, signal wire from your receiver down there and the video out to the transmitter there. And there are three tiny little uh, solder pads and depending on which pads you join with solder, you get uh, the SBUS, IBUS, uh, DSMX or PWM. So let's solder it up. Now I'm going to be using PWM, which, which means I need to bridge all three of those uh, solder pads there. All right, there's a little beastie. Let's connect it up. We have two FPV cameras. Receiver, transmitter, ESC to power the uh, receiver. And I'm powering the video transmitter using the balance plug there. And uh, I'm doing the switching on channel 5, PWM, which means I've plug that little wire into channel 5 and I plug the video transmitter in to the switcher and there we go so that's that's camera 1 and switch to camera 2 that's this one here switch backwards and forwards between the two cameras so that's pretty cool Okay, time to put it on a plane and go for a fly. I have two FPV cameras on my Phoenix 2000, one up on the canopy there with the video transmitter and one sort of pointing more down under the wing there. Hopefully you can see that okay. Uh, so let's go for a fly and um, switch from view to view. All right, we're ready to go. Let's just check the camera switching, straight ahead camera and looking down camera, which actually has my voltage on it too, so, okay, let's go. Throttle active. <laughs> so we're away, I'll just make sure my plane's flying nicely first, so I can Sort of concentrate on FPV, line of sight at the moment. Going a bit nose up. Get up to a bit of height. Okay, it should be right now. So there's my view, goggles down, out the front. Looking very nice, lots of water around. I'll head back towards myself. Put it in a glide and that should stay nice and level. And we're looking down. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool. It's weird trying to fly while you're looking straight down. You'd be better off with a um, flight control board doing it for you, of course. You have to get used to where the horizon should be. That's probably about right, I think. Surveying the water. That's about, that's flying nicely like that, so I can just steer around. There we go. Yeah, very good. Water, water, water. There's 
some birds over there. So this is a cheap alternative to the twin uh, camera switching on a recent video that I did on the Matek F722 uh, wing board. Uh, for this one you can use it without a flight control board, although it probably would be better with a flight control board as I said. Look at our sodden flying field. Do a bit of gliding. Forward facing camera, down camera. Good to have an altimeter or a, a uh, vario so you know if you're still flying level. So there you go, that's the Vifly FPV camera switcher. Nice cheap little piece of kit. Let's you switch to different camera views. I have both cameras on PAL, I don't really know if you need uh, actually, no, it depends on your on your goggles and your sort of recording system as to whether you need both on PAL or both on NTSC. It does seem to, my setup does seem to work okay with different uh, TV standards on different cameras. But it's probably safer just to have uh, both PAL or both NTSC. Dog club down there. Probably get used to this actually, flying, looking down like this, as long as you have a bit of the horizon in there, you're probably right. Not expecting any thermals today, it's very cold and dull and there'll be no differential heating, so um, that's my flaps I think. Let's bring it in for a landing, trying to miss all the water of course. Very good. There's the grass. Okay, thanks for watching. See you again.